Grayson. You know, I've thought a lot about him since you've mentioned him, and uh, I, I don't really remember him, except... What? Except I get this terrible feeling when I hear his name. Who was he? Was he a friend of mine? Would you like to see a picture no. of him? I mean, I just don't think it would do any good. I've looked at a lot of pictures since I've been home. Pictures of Mother and Clip, and they didn't help me remember. Well, then, looking at this picture certainly couldn't hurt. Nina, don't you want to understand why you don't want to see his face? I, I don't understand why everybody knows who he is except me. <sighs> Nina, I've, ju I've just been told a few facts about your life. I would never presume to know what Zach Grayson or anybody else means to you. Only you can tell me that. Session isn't over. I'm sorry. No, no, put it in words, Nina. Don't. Men are funny. You think you know them, and then they turn around and do the darndest thing. She's bound to find out, though. Well, you better hope it's not from you. Why do you say that? Baby, breaking the woman's heart isn't going to send Jeremy back into your arms. In fact, it could cost you everything. How could it? Well, if he loses that woman because of you, he's liable to turn right around and contest the will. And then even if you do get a part of what's coming to you, it could take years before the lawyers straighten it out. Meanwhile, Jeremy despises you. Of course, if that's what you want, you could just take an ad out in the Sunday paper, go tell the whole world that... You're right, Mother. He was just so very angry with me earlier on. I wasn't thinking straight. Thank you. Well, now, you just behave yourself until this will is settled. And then, if you want to, you start making yourself agreeable. Agreeable. You are trying to attract the man, not drive him around the bend. Mother, is it stupid to go after a man knowing he's in love with someone else? Well, you can't force his feelings one way or the other. But now, if he tires of her and he comes back to you, well, that's his business. He still loves me. I know he does. You don't get over the kind of love we shared. He's just afraid to admit it. If I had died, would you have gone back to Natalie? I know it's an unfair question. <laughs> Nothing you ask me is unfair. No, I never married Natalie. My feeling for her died ten years ago. You see, darling, if my father hadn't had his heart attack, I would have never returned to Canada, never seen her, never even thought of her at all. Yes, but you did return, and you do see her. You see her every day, and... Jeremy, the woman is just crazy about you. I can see that. Then I pity her. Because I love you. Oh, dear. <laughs> please forgive me because I am selfish and I am possessive and I do want you all to myself. <laughs> Honey, there's nothing to forgive. I love you. And we are going to be married. And I promise you, I'll never give you cause to doubt me. Never. What are you looking at? 
guess. Something wrong? Oh, you shouldn't sit so close to me. It can make the temperature rise. There's no way it could get close enough. You could try. That's what I intend to do. Perfect timing. Everybody's napping or busy. I've wanted you for so long. I was looking for you, Jeremy. When I didn't find you in your room, I thought I'd try here. What do you want, Natalie? I need your help. I'm on my way to the foundry to check out the memorial tablet that's to be placed in the chapel at Alex's service, and I'd like you to go with me. Why? Because I want you to check that the information is correct, and I'd also like you to be pleased with it. Natalie, I saw the plans, and I am pleased, and I think you can check it for accuracy as well as I can. Being very callous, Jeremy. Very sensible. Now, if you wanted me to go in your place, why didn't you say so? I wanted us both to go. We were the two people in the world who were closest to Alex. I don't understand why we can't do this one last thing for him together. Natalie, aren't you making a little too much of all this? My husband is dead. I am all alone, and I need someone to lean on. Now, surely, Erica, you can understand that, can't you? Didn't you feel that way when Mike Roy was killed? Oh, I did. Yes, I did. I felt completely alone. I know how that feels. I do understand. Jeremy doesn't. I, well, I suppose it's because he's a man. But then he's always been so strong. Lee, I couldn't call you exactly weak. All right, forget I even asked you, all right? Obviously, you cannot be depended on for anything. Jeremy, I do understand how Natalie feels. I felt exactly the same way when Mike died. And uh, it must be very difficult for her to make this decision all by herself about Alex's final memorial tablet. We could both go with her. Oh, no, 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 Erica, really, you're not well enough, but thank you for understanding. Jeremy, I'll see you downstairs. She's only doing this to keep us apart. She can stand to see people happy around her. I know. I was exactly the same way. Believe me, I was the same way when Mike died. All right. I sympathize. But I won't let her or anyone else keep us apart. I'm going to find a way for us to be together. <sighs> and what are you planning? Oh, never mind. You make yourself comfortable. Yes. And I'll be right back. So what are you going to do? Don't you budge out of this room. Patience, my love. Before nightfall, all will be revealed. Hello, darling. What? I said hello, darling. Over here in your chair. Oh, I'm asleep. This is a dream. There is no one there. Oh, I'm here, all right. Aren't you glad to see me again? You're nobody. Nothing. My morbid imagination. Now go away. Give up, Natalie. You couldn't control me while I was alive. Do you think you can control me now that I'm dead? I can haunt you any time I like. If you've come here to do that, don't even try. I think you're ridiculous. You can't scare me. No, no, no. That's not what you think at all. I can see inside your mind. You're scared, Natalie, and you should be. I can read your very schemes. I don't have any schemes. Oh, no? <laughs> you're trying desperately to keep Eric and Jeremy apart. How long do you think you can keep it up? Why ask questions if you know everything? I will keep them apart until I can announce to Jeremy that I am pregnant with his child. He won't believe that lie. Oh, he will believe it. Because he believes we slept together. You were pregnant by me long before you crawled into bed with him. 
I'll handle it. You overestimate yourself. How long do you think you can keep your lies up? You don't exist. You're not there, you're nothing, and I am not going to listen to you anymore. Oh, yes, you're going to listen because I'm going to tell you the truth about yourself. You tried to commit murder. That's nonsense. Yes. You tried to kill me. You found out my heart condition was critical, and you tried to kill me by making love to me. You were the one who wanted sex. That is all you ever wanted. You are right about one thing. I did hope that your lust would do you in. It was the very least you deserved. It should have been you that was killed in that landslide. But it wasn't. It was you. I'm alive, and you're gone. Now I'll have everything. Have your money. I will have your son. I will have it all. And there's nothing you can do to stop me. Natalie? Who were you talking to? I wasn't talking to anyone. I heard you. Well, I may have muttered something to myself. I'm under a great deal of stress. I think given the circumstances, it's perfectly understandable. Of course, of course. Yeah, lots of times. I'll uh, talk to myself when I want another opinion. Well, that's probably what I was doing. Larry, are you coming with us to the foundry? No. Uh, Larry's coming uh, into town with me. It's going to help me choose a dark suit for the memorial service. Yeah. Is this going to take long? No, I'm a very fast shopper. I'll meet you within an hour. Hmm? Well, please try not to keep me waiting. I do need your final approval. You can count on me. Let's go. I'm ready. Mother, do you have to wear that awful perfume? Well, honey, it's the same perfume I've been using all my life. You used to say you liked it. Well, it's very pungent. Well, you have been jumpy since I got here. You ready to go? We have to wait for Mona. We're going to drive her into town so that she can buy a, a new dress or oh. something for the service. I hope she and Erica don't try to steal the show. It's not a show, Mother. Well, you know what I mean. After all, you're the widow, I'm your mother. We should be the best-dressed women there. It really doesn't matter. Oh, now, I realize that this service isn't as important as the reading of the will. That's what's kept me awake at night. Why is that? Natalie, I want that thing settled as soon as possible. I want you to get what's coming to you. I will. Well, you can't breathe easy where that money is concerned. Alice could have relatives coming out of the woodwork, all claiming their share. Now, you're young. You don't know how hard it is to get your hands on real money. And what really gives me nightmares is old Alexander himself. Now, not to speak ill of the dead, but I never completely trusted that man. There was a shifty streak in him. Now, he could have done the unthinkable, Natalie. He could have left you out of that will altogether. Mother, that's ridiculous. <clears throat> Oh, I don't feel very well. You know, that's the second time you said you didn't feel good. What's wrong? Nothing's wrong. It'll pass. And now that I think about it, you didn't eat your breakfast. I wasn't hungry. I know you weren't hungry. And I bet I know the reason why. You're pregnant, aren't you? I should have guessed right off. Are you late? Who's the daddy? Or do you know? Of course I know. It's Jeremy. Now, no disrespect, honey, but how can you be so sure? Now, you were married to Alex, <clears throat> but you only slept with, with Jeremy that one time, or so you said. Well, it was just the one time, believe me. But as you know, Alex had a very serious heart condition. And uh, the doctors wouldn't allow him any kind of sexual activity whatsoever. It had been months since he touched me. You know, this baby has to be Jeremy's. Well, live and learn. Have you said anything to him? <laughs>